Thank you very much. I'd like to talk to you about something. Do you have a moment? Up until now, I've been the quintessential honor student. I believe I've been handling my position as student council president with ease as well. And I don't mean that in a boasting way, that's simply how I've thought about it. But in the end, I was unable to make any kind of impact with either Suzui-san or Kanashiro. Turns out there's no use for a rule-abiding honor student when things get rough. Now that I'm a member of this team, I want to do everything I can to help you all. All my studying up to this point has kept me quite narrow-minded. I think I, I will need to broaden my horizon somewhat. Advisor? <laughs> all right. My first step will be to learn more about the other students, but I struggle with that. There seems to be a disparity between my tastes and those of my peers. I knew it. I don't even know where people like to go for fun. It would be nice to have a grasp of such concepts. Plus, the student council must be responsible for understanding the student body they serve, right? I don't mean that in a surveillance way, I just want to know them as people. I may be a phantom thief, but that's no excuse for me to start ignoring my presidential duties. Now, back to the topic at hand. Where do people usually go for fun? Uh, I often hear people talking about going to the arcade. To be perfectly honest, I've never been to one myself. Do you think you could take me? I'm not sure if it'll broaden my horizons per se, but simply studying won't get me anywhere. Thank goodness. I think I would have been totally lost in there had I gone by myself. Well, let's get going. So this is where everyone comes to enjoy themselves. There are more girls here than I expected. Hey, over there! You play by aiming the gun at the screen, right? That actually seems somewhat realistic. Hmm. I if it's okay with you, do you think you could teach me? I did it! <gasps> no way! Oh, so this is how it is. Of course, that was just a game. But I wonder if I could apply some of the techniques I learned here during battle. Perhaps going somewhere I don't normally frequent is what helped me come up with that idea. You know, it may only be a little bit, but I think I'm starting to understand how people pass time. Interesting. I would have never even thought about coming here before. I... Hey, do you think you could help me out again later? I might be able to give the team more ideas if I can gain increased knowledge outside of my studies. I need to live up to your expectations now that I've taken up your time. Perhaps it won't be immediately, but... I'm sure I can be of use. There must have been people who obstructed your actions as the Phantom Thieves. You managed to overcome them because you had someone who specialized in analyzing enemies. Isn't that right? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. 
It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the priestess persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. By the way, you went to the Red Light District when you were chasing after Kaneshiro, right? I'd like to go there as well. No, not for my own purposes. To tell you the truth, I recently got a report that one of our students was spotted there. I'm skeptical, but I'd like to confirm firsthand for myself. Well, it's getting late. Let's go home. Thank you. we go? Thank you very much. Excuse me.
very much.
actually... Excuse me. Thank you very much.
Shall we go? All right then. Yes. It seems... Actually... Thank you very much. Thing the matter? Huh? 
How suspicious. Yes. Please listen. <sighs> Actually... Thank you very much. But... Sorry to ask you out here so suddenly. Being a chaperone is more difficult than I expected. We've had a lot of meetings. I honestly wanted to contact you earlier, but this is the first free moment I've had. That sounds lovely. All right then, let's take a walk. a food stand. Garlic shrimp. I've heard that's a famous Hawaiian dish. Are you adventurous when it comes to food? That's amazing. I always just stick with the standard fare. Well, let's give it a try. You two from Japan? Uh, yes, we are. How about them phantom thieves, huh? The guys that steal hearts. <laughs> How do you know about them? Heard about it on the news. They're all the rage in Japan, yeah? Seems like we're even making headlines abroad. Say, if you run into them, tell them I say hello. And ask them to change people's hearts so everyone loves shrimp. <laughs> uh, uh, of course. I'll do just that. amazing how beautiful oh it's already so late my sister would be upset if she saw me laid back like this to tell you the truth 
I wasn't particularly eager to go on this trip. But if it's like this, I think I'd like to come again. Yeah. Um, I'd like you to have this. It's not the best souvenir, but it will remind you of the memories we made today. Thank goodness. Well, we should probably return before it gets dark. I suppose I can't complain about that. stories online about horrible hosts like Tsukasa all the time. However, we'll need solid proof of what he's doing if we're going to convince Aik. I believe some of the promoters around here may know something. As my father always said, finding evidence takes serious legwork. Did you notice this? Proof. Come on. It's almost time for Aiko's shift to end. Let's wait for her in front of the shop. Hey!
You're right. Apologies for being so distracted. I can't stop thinking about Akechi-kun. Are we really no match for him? Thank you. And now it's time for your favorite shujin tradition! The student sharing special! Round of applause, everyone! This event is never very popular. The older teachers seem to enjoy it for some reason, though. He's choosing from the crowd? The MC this year is actually somewhat capable. Ooh, is that our lovely student council president over there? Huh? Come on up here, Miss Pred. Do I have to go? That's not really the proper use for that phrase. Everybody's waiting for you, Miss President. Huh. Relation to this 
guy. Relation? Hi, she's right as a beat. A rare glimpse into the girly side of our stunning Miss President. But I'm a gentleman. It hurts my heart to bully such a sweet girl. Well, did you all enjoy our blushing beauty? Thank you very much, Miss President. Just when it was getting interesting. Come on, I made a fool of myself. The post-festival party has never felt that long before. By the way, I'm surprised you were able to say what you did back there. Huh? I was at a complete loss for words. You really helped me. Thank you. This may be a little rude to say, but you were surprisingly reliable in a pinch. My sister always says if I get married, my husband should be someone dependable like that. Oh, um, uh, forget what I just said. <laughs> Despite everything that happened with Akechi kun, my final post festival party has turned out to be quite the unforgettable one. Oh, right. If you'd accept this... I hope you enjoy it. Come, let's go home. So, I find with Aiko. I think she knew it deep within her heart. And seeing him like that finally helped her realize. You're still not gonna let me forget that, hmm? Well, I'm glad she didn't get into any danger. Oh, and she told me she quit her job. Right now, she doesn't know what she wants to do, but she's going to go to college and figure things out. So in the end, Eiko's going to start seriously focusing on her studies again. I plan on doing the same as well. No, that's not it. This time, I'm not seeking anyone's praise, and I'm not trying to show off my intelligence. I simply want to fulfill my own personal goals and dreams. Before now, I didn't have a clear vision of what that meant. I was lost in life. But thanks to you, I finally come to realize it. My dream is to become a police commissioner. That is why I need to study. Because it's the head of police operations. I'll need an extensive academic background, though. There are too many incidents in this country that are never brought to light. That host was one. Villains who prey on the hearts of the weak with cowardly, legally questionable methods. My father risked his life trying to catch a group of those people. I will never forgive them. But I won't be able to eradicate them all on my own. Instead, I want to head an organization that will destroy the lawless and help rescue victims. I hope so. That is the justice I aim for. I also believe it will be a continuation of my father's legacy. Honestly, it's a little strange that I found the true meaning of my studies outside of my studies. Thank you for all your help. Must have been difficult babysitting the uptight Miss President, right? Just kidding. Even so, I'm glad I asked you. I think now I'll be able to see the world even more differently. Actually, I'm sure I can. Because I have you. shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of the thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the priestess granting thee infinite power all right Power with 
All right. By the way, you can rely on me for anything you need. I want us to be equals. Now then, in order to fulfill my dream, I'll need to be accepted into my first choice college. <laughs> what a funny thought. Studying to become a head of police while working as a thief. But perhaps it's not as contradictory as it seems. The objective is the same. Exposing the evil lurking in the dark shadows. S so you see... Uh, um... Well, I was thinking... Maybe we could study some things we don't have experience in yet. Would that be okay? I want to be with you. We still have some time before night falls. about this. I know it's a special day, but that's also why I wanted to see you. Merry Christmas. It's just about time for dinner, so why don't we find a place to eat? Okay, let's go. Oh, uh, come to think of it, uh, well, it is a cold Christmas Eve, so... Do you want to hold hands? I can't believe we couldn't find a single table. At least we can try to get a cake here, but... Even this place is so crowded. Th thank you. I feel the same way. Wait, focus. We've got a cake to buy. Let's get going. <sighs> it doesn't look like they have anything. Oh <laughs> well. Maybe we'd better find another place. You're not the market for a Christmas cake, are you? Oh, um, we are, actually. Ah, fantastic! One of our orders was cancelled last minute. You're kidding! I guess it's your lucky night. So, do you want to buy it? Well, if it's really alright... Then, yes, we'll take it. Of course. Just wait one moment while I go prepare your order. I'm honestly stunned. This kind of thing never happens, right? Sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> it's so good. Right? Maybe it was a good thing all the restaurants turned us away. Oh, oh, right. Here, before I forget, I got you a present. I have to say, um... My life's gotten a lot more unpredictable since I met you. But we got through everything so far. And it's made me realize... I wouldn't want it any other way. I thought you might like this watch. Just in case we, uh... <laughs> Lose track of time together. It's really nothing fancy, but I'm glad you like it. Oh, wait. Don't move. <laughs> you had some cream on your nose. How did that even get there? Are you 
usually don't laugh this much on Christmas, but I guess it's not just the holidays. Meeting you's helped me see so much humor, even excitement in the most trivial things. You helped me find so many new experiences beyond the life I'd known. Thank you for spending Christmas with me and for loving me. Oh, you. <laughs> oh, look! It's so beautiful! Snow must have picked up after we got back. Coming back to LeBlanc really was the smart move. Now, we get to enjoy the view. I didn't know I could be this happy. It almost doesn't feel real. You're right. It's just so different from how things used to be. Hey, it's getting pretty bad out there. This much snow is bound to stop the train schedules. Hope you don't mind, but I'll be staying a little longer. Can we talk for a little while? Hey, hey! Thank you very much. I'm sorry. Thank you very much. I'll give it a try. Oh, right. Today's Valentine's Day. No wonder there were so many guys bringing girls in here. Don't you have anything exciting happening? I mean, you've been here nearly a whole year. You know, when I was young. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Good evening. Sorry to barge in like this. Oh, uh, you should have just told me. Here. I'll leave the store to you. 
Enjoy yourselves. He was quite considerate. Welcome home, once again. At least you're aware of it. I was scared out of my mind, you know? It was like you disappeared. And after that, I find out you turned yourself in? I forgive you, but you need to stop shouldering all the burdens on your own, okay? I want to support you. Especially when you're hurting. We can get through our problems together. Sorry. I didn't mean to turn this into a lecture. That's not why I came here anyway. Chocolate. For you. I'm afraid it's not homemade, but... That's nice, but you'll have to actually eat it eventually, okay? We came back, right? We're in the real world this time? I've been studying hard. I'm looking to apply to law school. My dream of becoming a police commissioner remains the same. Um, can I sit next to you? You're going back next month, right? Sure, just let me get my tickets. I wish. But our relationship can survive a little distance, right? Can I tell you something? When I was a phantom thief, I was driven by one goal. To help those who were unjustly suffering. And that hasn't changed, of course. That goal still keeps me going. But now, I have something else, too. Now, I have someone I want to be happy. I want to stand beside them. Not as a phantom thief, but as myself. Someone very special. to aquariums before, but they never seemed quite as magical as this. That was a long time ago, though. My father took me here once when I was in grade school. My sister would have gone, but I think she stayed home that day. Too busy studying for some exam. <laughs> hey, is this in return for Valentine's Day? You really didn't have to go to all this trouble, but... I'm glad you did. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, are you hungry? I think we've seen everything here. We could go get some dinner if you want. What? Really? Well, now you've got my hopes up. <laughs> I guess we'd better get going. This restaurant really is lovely. You don't say. Sounds like you've got some friends in high places then. If you're trying to be unbelievably smooth, it's working. Especially earlier when you went to the staff to get our reservation. You were so composed. That was the most adult I've ever seen you. <laughs> Sorry, I need to step out for a moment. Sorry about that. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on this special day. We wish you all an unforgettable evening, with one last finishing touch from us. 
What's going on? <gasps> wow! What? Thank you! This seems unreal, like something that only ever happens on TV. But now that it's happening to me, I... I don't know what to think. I'm just so happy. Is it because I don't have experience in these things? Would I know what to say if I dated someone before? Really? Well, either way, I'm so happy right now. I guess you planned today out to the smallest detail, huh? Thank you. Really. Now that I think of it, this is just like you. Whenever you go to this much trouble, it's always for someone else's sake. I need to start following your example. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, um, hey, do you have to be anywhere after this? If not, um, we should spend some more time together. Wait, I don't mean to come off as clingy or anything. It's all this romance in the air. I don't know how to deal with it. Still, if it's just for one evening, we can lean into it, right? bother you when you're so busy, but I wanted to see you before you left. Won't be long until I'm living alone, too. We'll both have to get used to the quiet. Huh? I, uh, what's that supposed to mean? Well, I guess we won't have to tiptoe around my sister, or boss. Drop by whenever you like. My sister and I are actually going to go look at my new place soon. A year ago, all this would have been unthinkable for me. But nobody told me to do this. It's a path I chose for myself. Of course, I'd never have gotten to this point alone. You gave me the push I needed. Back then, I was just another honor student. Meeting you helped me change how I define myself. So I want you to have this. It helped me learn to love studying. One day, I'll be a police commissioner. I know it won't be easy, but I also know I'll never give up. By giving this to you, I want to prove that. And I hope it'll comfort you when I can't be there myself. It doesn't matter if we're far apart. Our hearts will be as close as ever. And that'll help me keep Three fighting. Doors are now closing. Please stand back. It doesn't matter. Oh! Greetings. Hello. Um... possible.
say. Is that so? Ah, you're back. Oh! <laughs> Fine. For real? <laughs> the rest is on you. Hey! That's incredible. Real? For 
should still be heading down the path to misery without changing. I mean, look! What? The sequence of Arcana has completely changed. Death has moved far off into the future. No, no, no! This must be some sort of trick. What are you, a scam artist? You made a deal with her boyfriend or something, didn't you? Then what did you do? Did you plunge him into Tokyo Bay? Or cram him into a metal drum and dump insects on him? You must have taken some sort of extreme measures. Well, you certainly do seem ordinary. Yes, quite ordinary indeed. But there's no way that could have happened without you breaking the law. I mean, how could an ordinary high school student change the course of fate? Fine. I'm just going to have to verify your power. The very power that reversed my tarot card prediction. This is quite a serious situation for a fortune teller like me. I need to get to the bottom of this. You won't have to do anything. Just sit next to me while I tell fortunes. And if another unopposable fate happens to appear, then I'll test your power. Well, that may be true. Oh, I know. I'll read your fortune. Please? I'll even prioritize your readings over my regular customers. Besides, I'll be able to provide much more accurate predictions once I get to know you better. How does that sound? Is it a deal? Otherwise, I won't be able to go on. Please, I beg you. I need to know if fate truly can be changed. You will? Really? Okay, then. I look forward to verifying your skills. Please don't blow me off, okay? We made a deal, after all. Unless you were lucky, there's no way you could have repeatedly done so many crimes. Or perhaps you had someone you consulted who gave you precise advice. You're not getting away this time with just luck. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the fortune persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Is fate really something that can be changed? If it's really possible, then... Hmm. Oh, it's getting late. Let's close up shop for today. It's past your curfew. Um... Um... 
Here we go. Is this? What shall we do? Oh, 
Um... Thank you. <laughs> Here we go.
What? But... I've made up my mind. Thank you very much.
I'm here with you. Ha <laughs> ha 
just a little longer. Good night. is key. Bumpkin, I've always admired it. No, I somehow felt like I wasn't allowed to because I was a monster. But it's all good now. I will no longer be swayed by names like Monster or Maiden. I am simply a fortune teller who provides advice to people with broken spirits so that they will have conviction and face their future without getting pushed around by fate. That's the fate I've chosen for myself. <laughs> Thank you. Now, it's your turn to speak. What would your conviction be as a phantom thief? Sorry, I used fortune telling to find out your true identity. I couldn't help but think that you had something to do with the chairman's confession. Then I discovered that you're the trickster who causes a sensation in the world. It was the same card as the figure who helped me take down the chairman. <laughs> it finally struck home for me. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. I don't care what my boyfriend's true identity is. As long as you're around, I can always be my true self. So, it's fine. Only... the fate of the Phantom Thieves is rather unclear. The Arcana is set in a tricky position. You can almost say it's facing both heaven and hell. This is the first time I've ever seen anything like it. Of course! We're dating, you know. But I'm sure it'll be okay. I'll be by your side. As the fortune teller who changes fates, I will guide you so you can avoid misfortune. <laughs> I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of fortune granting thee infinite power. All right. All right.
Um, by the way, are you okay with your girlfriend being a country bumpkin? It's become a habit of mine to hide my native tongue, and I'm not used to fancy places like this. Respond to that. Uh, I'm speaking in my country dialect again. Um, the thing is, I read our relationship fortune today, and it was really, really good. So, um, if you don't have any plans to steal anything tonight, um, perhaps you can stay. Stay with me! <sighs> I... I don't know what to do now. I couldn't figure it out with my fortune-telling. So... Let's figure it out together. I got to see you, well, especially since it's Christmas. It's sweet of you to think of me, but I'm fine. Cold weather's never bothered me too much. To be honest, I was really hoping we could get dinner at a fancy restaurant after this, but I, I got too nervous and never made the reservations. I'm sorry. It's not like I have any dresses extravagant enough for one of those places anyway, so... Oh, that's a great idea! But where can we eat it? What? Are you sure that's okay? Well, um, if you insist. Oh, I almost forgot. It turns out there's an easy way to increase your luck tonight. All you have to do is hold hands with your love. So, uh, are you interested? Mm, big cities are so scary. I can't believe all the stores are sold out. Is Christmas always such a war zone? Yes, I feel the same way. You're all I need this Christmas. But we still have one last hope. Okay, let's go. Premonition. I sense they're all sold out. Uh, excuse me, do you happen to have any Christmas cakes left? Actually, we do! Well, it was worth asking at least. Uh, wait, what? One of our orders was cancelled last minute. This is the only cake we have. Really? Then can we buy it? Of course! Just wait one moment while I go prepare your order. Amazing! I can't believe it! We changed our destiny once again! I should be the one thanking you. You really changed my life for the better. Oh, um... <laughs> never mind. You heard nothing. It's about time we had some cake. Mm, so good! These big city cakes really are on a whole other level. It's downright delicious what it is. Oh, um, um, is that a country thing? Do people not say that here? Oh, speaking of, before I forget... Here... I've got a present for you. 
I hope you like it. I actually have the same one myself. I thought it might be nice if we both used it. Then we'd smell the same. Wait, I didn't mean for that to sound creepy. I mean, uh, I, oh, I'm sorry. R really? You're not bothered or freaked out? Oh, <laughs> what a relief. Um... <laughs> some cream on your face. It's kind of cliche, isn't it? Even I've seen that one. Can I ask you something? It's about your associates, the Phantom Thieves. You've all been fighting for people like me, haven't you? You help whoever's in trouble. Yeah, it's easy enough to tell without consulting the Arcana. I'm sure you've been through a great deal. Trials far more painful than mine, but thanks to all your efforts, I found my own path to walk. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. <laughs> well, I won't push you any further, but there's one thing I want to thank you for specifically. Not as a phantom thief, but as a person. Thank you for seeing me as I am. Not as some maiden or a monster but seeing who I really am, and loving me for it. Yes. Well, <laughs> let's get back to our Christmas party. That cake isn't going to eat itself, you know? Oh, look. It's snowing so much harder now. Something about it is so much prettier than how I saw it back in the countryside. I didn't know I could feel this happy, but it's all because I have you. You know, I read your fortune today. By all appearances, your life is going to get even better from here on out. It's a little strange, in fact. You have so much joy and fortune ahead that it seems almost unnatural. You're right. We can just be happy together. Can we stay like this a while longer? Listening to your heartbeat makes me feel so... safe. Oh, right. Today's Valentine's Day. No wonder there were so many guys bringing girls in here. Don't you have anything exciting happening? I mean, you've been here nearly a whole year. You know, when I was young. <laughs> oh, boy. Excuse me? Uh. Oh, uh, you should have just told me. Here. I'll leave the store to you. Enjoy yourselves. Good evening. Thank you. It's been a while. How have you been? That's what I was afraid of. I know you've endured so much. <clears throat> I found out you'd been taken away, imprisoned. I was so scared for you. Do you know how that felt? Good. To be honest, I knew you'd come home safe. 
I saw it in your readings. Still, I couldn't help worrying. Well, after all, if something else happened... Oh, I'm sorry. There I go again, tempting fate. Here, I wanted to give you this. Glad to hear that. I'm afraid it's not homemade, though. I'm still telling fortunes, but I've cut all ties with the chairman. Thank you. It's taking time, but I'm getting more customers who really rely on me. Oh, but you don't have to worry. No matter how busy I get, you'll always come first. After all, I may be a fortune teller, but I can't let my life revolve around other people's romances. Um... Huh? I'd like to sit next to you. So, you really are leaving. That soon, too. You promise? Then I'll wait for you. Honestly, I'm sad to hear it, but... If this is really what you want, then I'll support you. Doesn't matter how far you go, I'll always be thinking of you. Actually, I've been wondering since I first saw you today. But something's changed in your aura, hasn't it? Your energies have a different color than usual. It hasn't been that long since I saw you last either. Seems strange. Don't be so evasive, but you're not the only one who's changed, I suppose. I'm glad if my fortune-telling brings people joy, but... There's one person whose happiness I want above all else. If my power lets me help them, even just a little, then... All the pain it brought me was worth it. Are you really going to make me say it? As long as I have you... I can overcome anything fate throws at me. I don't have to see the future to know that. Oh? Is something wrong? Shinagawa? Sure. I'll close up early so I can go. Town definitely had fish, but they were nowhere near as elegant as these. You know, Feng Shui says that water represents financial prosperity, so maybe being here will bring us great wealth and fortune. Well, maybe not. But I'm getting to spend all this time with you. It's such a beautiful place. I must be luckier than I realized. Um, by the way, did you invite me out because it's white day today? Thank you so much. I, I saw it coming, of course. Our fates clearly showed me that you'd return my affections. Thank you for taking me out today. I had a lot of fun. Oh, really? Well, then I'll leave it to you. What in tarnation? I've never been anywhere this fancy. A bumpkin like me doesn't belong here, right? Absolutely. I didn't see anything this lavish in my fortune telling. You seem even more mature than usual. But considering I'm supposed to be the older one here, it's also a little embarrassing. Oh, if anything, you sound even more like you're the adult here. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me a moment. Apologies for the interruption. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Thank you for joining us on this special day. We wish you all an unforgettable evening, with one last finishing touch from us. Huh? What's happening? <sighs> I've never seen anything like this. What? Thank you so much! These flowers, and I mean, the view is just... Aw, oh, jeez, my head is spinning. That was a little overwhelming, but maybe... I've always wanted to have a night like this. I think it's one of your most admirable qualities, actually. How you always go out of your way for the sake of other people, putting their needs above yours. I hope I can be like you someday, if, uh, that's all right with you. Thank you. I'm so glad I met you. Are you free after this? You see, according to my readings, if I spend more time with my love... No, I shouldn't make excuses. I just don't want you to leave yet. Oh, you came. I'm going to be lonely here since you're leaving tomorrow, but I'll work hard so I will continue to grow while I wait for you to return. That makes me happy. I'm looking forward to it. I've been receiving encouragement from my clients lately. I've realized what may first seem like an obstacle can actually be a valuable, meaningful stepping stone. If I hadn't left my hometown and ended up here, I couldn't have used my powers to help people. And more importantly, I'd never have met you. Here. This card represents your future. Please, take it as a good luck charm. An upright fortune card represents happiness to come, but it's an omen of doom when reversed. Then again, it seems like you have the power to bring joy to anyone's fate. I understand now. We don't have to cling to fate. We can change it with our own hands. So... Look, I ain't gonna wait till the cows come home. You take too long, I'll come get you myself, Dagnabbit. Way to put it, but that sure was a crappy time out there. Oh! I finally found you. I was trying to find you so I could thank you properly for this morning. So, where'd the other people in your group go? see. I'm in pretty much the same situation. If it's all right with you, why don't we eat our soup together? Great! Thanks for the food. I want to thank you again for this morning. That man was even more frightening than he might have appeared to you. So I truly appreciate what you did for me. Thank you so much. Sorry, but I'm not even finished. There's one more issue I need to address. I'm also so sorry for what happened the other day. The run-in we had outside of the guidance office. Remember the discussion we just had? There are a number of students in this school you shouldn't get involved with. This one is at the top of the list. Oh, 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 oh. the delinquent transfer student? Mr. Kamoshida had just told me about you a moment prior, so I sort of spoke without thinking there. I heard some of my classmates gossiping about you too. but I haven't paid it any real mind. I don't like gossip or rumors and the like. And I know this will sound strange since I just met you, but 
You don't seem like the kind of person they describe. It'd be a different story if all those rumors were actually true, though. What were all the crimes I'd heard? Burglary, murder, and elephant tusk trafficking, was it? <laughs> Even I can tell you're joking. Hmm? You know what? It just hit me. I haven't introduced myself yet. Oh, I'm sorry to make you go first. I apologize this was such a long time coming, but I hope we can get along well. I believe you already learned from our meeting at school that my... What the hell just happened? Huh, look. Got it, just in time. Here you are. Don't let go of things you like, okay? Sorry, I didn't mean to run out on you like that. Huh? <laughs> I guess you sleuthed me out before I got to tell you. Well, you've cracked the case. I'm Kasumi Oshizawa, a first year. Figured that out too, huh? Well, yes, I compete in gymnastics. It's not that difficult once you get the hang of it. Just a hop, skip, and a jump. Gymnastics, huh? Hey, don't you think some of those moves would be awfully useful? I was just thinking about how the Phantom Thieves need to get some sweeter moves, too. What's the matter, Senpai? Wait, is there a cat somewhere around here? Does that mean you're interested in gymnastics? That makes me so happy. I'd be honored if you'd allow me. The only problem is, I have a favor to ask for myself as well, if you wouldn't mind. Lately, I haven't been getting the results I want from my performances, and I'm worried that I'm overthinking things. So it would be wonderful if you could give me some advice whenever you have the time. Sure I do. I'd love if you were willing to lend me an ear from time to time. I see. This sounds like a pretty sweet deal to me. What do you think? Thank you. Then we've cut a deal. <laughs> I've read in the reports that the Phantom Thieves' physical abilities are more acrobatic than the average person's. It seems you've gained an aptitude for specialty equipment as well. Wouldn't a natural conclusion to draw be that you were trained by an expert in that field? Well, tell me the truth. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Faith Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Oh, why don't we exchange contact information? It shut down. Sorry, my smartphone's been acting up lately. <laughs> it's back! Okay, I'll contact you when I've got free time, if that's fine. Attention, Shujin Academy students. The cleanup event will be ending momentarily. Please do not discard your trash in the bins here. Instead, bring your waste to the predetermined location for disposal. After that, we will be officially releasing everyone for the day. Thank you all for your hard work. Well, the cleanup seems to be finished. We're already in our gym clothes. Would you care for some basic training before heading home? Let's start with some core exercises. Those are the foundation for staying in shape.
I think that's good. home now.
Thank you for the meal.
last one that counts. I'm sorry. birthed a bond clad in the heart's strength. This union, born and embraced by will unyielding, shall become the balefire that lights thy path. Thou hast gained a glimpse of the faith's truth, granting thee further power to tread the abyss. All right. Good effort.
I'm sorry. get going. for bringing me here.
All right. Good effort. to have kept you waiting. other time.
I'm so embarrassed. Um... you What would you like to do? What? Shall we go?
There's more to me. Thank you very much. Sorry to keep you waiting. It looks like my coach is yet to arrive. I'm usually so nervous when Coach Hiraguchi watches my performance, partially because she's worked with me for so long. That's why I don't want to let her down. But today, Today, I'm excited about this. Oh, thank you. When you compliment me like that, I feel like everything's going to turn out well in the end. Ah, thank you for making time to observe me today. I really wanted to get an unbiased evaluation from you. You got a good look on your face today, Sumire. Yes, ma'am. I'm confident in the routine I'm about to perform. Well, at first glance, I'd say you look like you've got it all figured out. But I'm here to gauge your performance, not just let you brag about it. Now, begin. Ma'am. Even her starting form's changed. Could this be your doing? You two are cute together. All right, let's start. Watching. Hmm. Uh, You've grown so much, Sumire. I'm sure this is no surprise to you, but the path to international success will be harsh and relentless. Are you ready? Absolutely. I will be number one in the world of gymnastics. I will make our dream a reality. Glad to hear you're so sure. With your natural grace and dedication to reach the gauntlet, no matter how far it is from your grasp, your dream is no longer impossible. And you're the one who decided that, not me. Huh? You didn't even realize it, did you? Today's the first time you've told me you will win on an international level. Until today, you'd only tell me, I hope I win. Oh! Perhaps you even have someone special. The person who makes you want to dance just for them. Well, that's... um... I... uh... My, it seems you haven't quite made a total transformation. It's good to hear you have someone who really understands you in your corner. Your performance today truly was impressive. I'm looking forward to your next lesson already. Coach... Me too! Coach Hiraguchi liked my routine. You're probably right. I'm kidding, of course. Thanks to you, I feel like I've finally found the answer I've been searching for, as well as discovering what's most important to me while performing. When you just come out and say it like that, I can tell I'm getting embarrassed. I've learned all sorts of things from my time with you. Now, I can show everyone how I really feel, and the two of us can take the crown of the gymnastics world. I am thou, thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of faith, granting the infinite power. This is 
the new me. I finally found it. All right. I know it's a bit late, but I can feel my body start to shake. I think it's finally hitting me. I managed to really give it my best. You're right. This is just my own starting line. Senpai, I have a favor to ask. Um, will you hold me tight? Like before? <sighs> oh no. I thought this would stop my shaking. But now it feels like my heart's about to burst. I can just hang on to this warm place in my mind. I feel like I can push myself further than I've ever gone before. I love you, Senpai. Now and forever. Yes. is all right yes thank you for bringing me here Oh, right. Today's Valentine's Day. No wonder there were so many guys bringing girls in here. 
Don't you have anything exciting happening? I mean, you've been here nearly a whole year. You know, when I was young. Oh, boy. Good evening. I didn't know you were still working. Sorry for stopping by so late. Oh, uh, you should have just told me. Here, I'll leave the store to you. Enjoy yourselves. considerate of him. I hope I'm not imposing. I know I already saw you before, but I really wanted to have some time with you today. So I thought I'd stop by on the way home from practice. <laughs> Same here. <sighs> I had so much I was going to say once I finally got to talk to you. But now that you're here, and I can see your face for myself, none of it seems so important anymore. It's all right. I understand why you did what you did. On another note, I brought you something. It's chocolate, since it's Valentine's Day today. Normally, I'd find that a little melodramatic, but I'm glad to hear it, really. Just checking, but we're back in the real world, right? I wanted to say, Senpai, I... Ever since that day, I've finally been living for myself. As myself. And from now on, I always will. Uh, so, um... May I sit next to you? You're going back to your hometown soon, yes? It's sweet of you to ask. But I'm going to keep working hard. Wherever you are, I'll make sure you hear about me. She always said she performed best when thinking about someone she loved. I think I finally understand Kasumi, what she was trying to say. When I think about you, I get the feeling the competition's going to go just fine. You know what I mean. Ready for tomorrow? <laughs> White Day. That's tomorrow, right? You got some chocolates on Valentine's Day, didn't you? And White Day's when you return the favor. The men do the gifting. What's your plan? You've at least got some kind of present ready, right? Hmm. Get it together, kid. Sometimes I don't know if you're fearless or just plain careless. Fine. Listen up, and I'll give you the recipe for the ultimate date. Whoa, the chief has an ultimate date plan? I better listen in too, just in case. First off, you're gonna need a gift. This won't work without one. Can't go wrong with flowers. Just make sure you buy them before the date. You gotta present them near the end. Surprise her, so you can't let her see you buying them on the date. Got it? Uh-huh. Gotta give them flowers, huh? I gotta take notes. Next, think about where you're taking her. You're gonna want somewhere with the right atmosphere, but it's gotta be peaceful. 
Oh, how about that new aquarium exhibit in Shinagawa? Just saw a commercial for it. Might be a good spot, right? The aquarium's a good place for a date. I see. Now, once the date part's over, you gotta take her out to dinner. Somewhere nice, too. But it's kinda last minute to make reservations. All the fancy places get booked pretty fast around White Day. Okay, right. Too late to make any reservations. Uh, wait! What?! Damn it. I don't usually do this, but I know a place. Can't guarantee anything. I bet they're full up too. But you might get an edge if you mention my name. Wow, amazing! Chief has connections! So once you're at dinner, you get to talking, enjoying yourselves, and that's when you give it to her. paying attention. It's the perfect time to surprise her. That ought to do it. Just follow the plan and you're safe. Wow, this plan is foolproof. Leave it to the chief. Well, I taught you my secrets. The rest is on you. Do your prep and make those reservations. Good luck. On that note, I'm going home. Now it's up to you. You should start prepping right away. Don't waste the chief's advice, all right? Let's see. The reservation comes first. You remember that restaurant chief told you about? Thank you for calling, sir. Were you looking to make a reservation? I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid we're fully booked for tomorrow. White day is crazy, huh? But don't worry. All you have to do is mention the chief. You're a friend of Mr. Sakura's? My apologies, sir. If you could just hold for one moment. Thank you for your patience. You wanted a dinner course for two on the 14th. We will have a table ready for you. Dang, the chief has serious clout. Could I ask your name and contact information? Okay, your dinner plans are locked in. Now you just gotta get the flowers, and then it's off to the aquarium and dinner. It's gonna be busy tomorrow, so we'd better get rest while we can. Today's the day. I think there was a florist in that underground... That should do it. Okay, that comes out to... Hold on. Let me cover this one. You've been taking care of me yourself, so I need to express appreciation for you, too. Good luck! I'm rooting for you! Okay, now you're all ready for the date. You know who you plan on inviting, right? Don't worry. I'm a gentleman who knows his manners. I won't be tagging along. All right. Good luck out there. speaking right now of course that's fine I don't have practice today so I'll head over right away see you there oh, there are so many different kinds of fish I'd never have realized just seeing them from a distance. They're all so beautiful. Come to think of it, I remember we had a family trip to an aquarium when I was younger. Kasumi was so excited to see the fish, but apparently I was so scared I cried the whole time. No, maybe because I've got you here, or something like that. Hmm. Um, senpai? 
If I'm wrong, you can just tell me. But is this a date for White Day? I knew it! I'm so glad I got to spend it with you, Senpai. Since we're on a nice date like this, though, we might as well have fun. Oh, wait! I think this is the end of the exhibit. Thank you for taking me out today. I'll be even more motivated for tomorrow's practice. What? Well, I suppose I'll take you up on that. This restaurant is beautiful. I'm impressed, Senpai. Of course! Oh, right. Inside voices. Sorry about that. Love is so strange. I feel so happy when I'm with my boyfriend, but even tiny failures get me so depressed. As long as I've got you, though, I feel like I can get through anything. Oh, senpai, I'm glad we're on the same level. Um, so to speak. Oh, uh, sorry. Sorry about that. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on this special day. We wish you all an unforgettable evening, with one last finishing touch from us. Huh? Looks like something's happening. Oh, it's gorgeous! What? Thank you! So much! I never saw this coming, but I'm so, so happy! I've never been surprised like this! I keep falling in love with you all over again! I guess you put a lot of effort into this date, but I shouldn't have expected anything less, Senpai. You take care of everybody. And you always put their happiness before anything else. But I don't want this to be one-sided. One day, I want to take care of you like you do for me. Though, I guess that might not be for a while. Thank you. It'll definitely happen eventually, so please be patient. Okay, maybe I'm getting a little too worked up about it. Um... We still have some time left tonight, so... Can I stay with you just a little longer? Hmm? Hmm... Now then! Chan, are you sure this isn't just water? If you're trying to rip me off, I'm gonna reveal all your secrets in a feature article. Oh, it's you! Please, have a seat. So, what's up? Got anything new on the Phantom Thieves? Or maybe... You're just falling in love with me, hmm? That too? So then, you do have news on the Phantom Thieves? Thank God. My publisher just assigned me to be the beat reporter for the Phantom Thieves. Man, this would really help me out. Are you seriously going to use this child as a source of information? Ah. Oh. Don't be such a killjoy. These kids nowadays know about things we adults don't have access to. Besides, what's most important is that I now have a reliable third-party source for my stories. Whatever. So, what do you want from me this time? Information about someone? Cold hard cash? Huh? <laughs> 
<laughs> Lucky me! My very own golden goose just appeared. Now I can take it easy. Maybe I'll take a little vacation with all my free time. As if. What do you want? Just tell me. Last time it was info on Kaneshiro, right? The office has been a buzz lately. I think it's Kaneshiro related. Something's fishy. So you're being swayed by the Phantom Thieves, huh? But I see what's going on here. Hardcore Phantom Thieves fanboy. Huh. Hey, I'm not gonna let you use this kid so you can take a vacation. A vacation? Oh! <laughs> I was just kidding. I'm conducting a private investigation during my off hours. No one at work knows about it. Don't tell me you're... Hey, how about we do this? You supply me with info on the Phantom Thieves, and I'll write articles based on what you tell me about them. You know, the Phantom Thieves who you love oh so much. Deal? All right then, it's a deal. I can create a lot of positive PR for the Phantom Thieves, so be sure to give me some good scoops. Your reputation skyrocketed after a certain point. It's unnatural how much your actions were publicized. Did you have an inside man in the media? Someone who could manipulate information for you? What do you have to say to that? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the devil persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Okay, Lala Chan. Oh. Don't tell anyone about this, okay? I don't want people to know that my source is a high schooler. Time to celebrate our agreement! Bring out my bottle! And two glasses, please! Oh, come on, please! Whoa, her silence is golden. Fine, fine, fine. I won't make the high schooler drink. Oh, I gotta use the bathroom. Ah, oh, she's gonna be in there for a while. You should go home. You take care now. Hey, Lalachan.
Oh! Hey! Well then. Shit. Ugh. Ugh. 
kill them. Bunch.
Thanks a bunch. Oh, honey. Hey, hey! Is this weather a result of climate change? Hey, hey! Is this weather a result of climate change? Well then. Messing around.
right. So, uh... Give me some news.
All right. <laughs> well then. to me.
Well then. Bunch. Thanks. Lala Chan. Ooh, it reminds me of the time I came here with Kayo. This is a special place for me. It's where I convinced Kayo to become my partner. Since I've been re-examining my career as a journalist recently, I wanted to come back here. And I wanted to talk to you about... Sorry. Chief, the draft went through? Whoa! Nice job getting the approval! I'm doing a special expose on the Phantom Thieves, and the Chief's helping me. It's about their origin and the root of the problem they're trying to solve. I think it really captures the spirit of journalism. It's my original field of expertise. I am a journalist after all, you know? The higher-ups were against it, but this expose has been very popular with our readers. Since we've sold so many copies, there's nothing they can do about it. Or us. So, we're planning to throw in additional articles while we have the chance. This is only just the beginning, though. I've been quietly making preparations to write a story about Shido's confidant, too. I'm going to uncover the truth. I swear to Kayo. Thanks. Again. Whenever I felt like giving up, you encouraged me to keep going. It's all thanks to you that I was able to get this far, Mr. Phantom Thief. The Chief's change of heart happened exactly the same way as those other cases. And the timing was absolutely perfect. You're the only one who could have orchestrated all that. Lala Chan's more of a... Phantom Menace. Oh, oh crap, she's gonna be so pissed! I'm convinced from all the recent coverage that the Phantom Thieves truly are valiant. Helping the weak, punishing the bad. They actually do all those things. In a sense, you and I have the same objective. We both want to expose the ills of society. So, I won't tell anyone about your true identity. Let's form a united front to fight evil. If it weren't for you, I never would have been able to return to my journalist self. My high schooler source who manipulated information ended up manipulating my heart, too. I'm gonna return the favor one of these days, all right? And someday, let's go tell Kayo it's all over. Together. I am thou. Thou 
heart I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the devil, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right. So, what do you want to do after this? Let's go someplace I can have fun with a miner. Like, maybe an amusement park? Or... Jeez, you're so forward. I was just about to suggest that, though. I'm not a very good cook, but I'll make you something. What's with the shocked look? Even a journalist cooks at home from time to time. I just want to relax with you. Eat some delicious food, have some dessert, lie around. And after all that, well, that's up to you. Shall we go? my dog but I guess you have been a good boy I gotta reward you somehow oh I know I'll get you anything you want today fancy restaurants take out whatever your little heart desires hit me oh that's all you want not like a steak or something okay here this is more embarrassing than I expected. Well, let's go. Not a single open table anywhere. The Christmas Eve crowd is out in full force. Oh, are you trying to cheer me up? You're just the cutest. Oh well, screw dinner. Let's just get a cake and go home. Looks like there's a store over there. Let's check it out. Man, I don't know. <laughs> what do you think? Do they look like they still have cakes? Come on, let's accept defeat and go. Actually, we do. See, I told you. Wait, seriously? One of our orders was canceled last minute. Just wait one moment while I go prepare your order. I stand corrected. I guess you don't always need a reservation to get the good stuff. <laughs> well, sure, when you say it like that. But hey, now we can kick back and enjoy our treat. Just the two of us, right? Now this is a cake. There's gotta be like a zillion reviews of this stuff in the foodie magazines. Man, we really got lucky. Yeah, next year. And the Christmas after that, too. But first... Ta-da! Here's your Christmas gift. It's not the same model as mine, but we've got the same brand. I thought maybe you could start using it to capture some memories. So, how's that? Best girlfriend in the world, or just the country? Hey, jeez, don't come at me with these sweet nothings. I can't deal with it. What do we have here? <laughs> Did you seriously not notice that was there? <laughs> Breaking news! My boyfriend's a doofus. 
a doofus who's somehow one of the phantom thieves, changing the world one heart at a time. Hey, can I just thank you again? You and your team have done so much. I feel like it's the least I can give back. You and I fought the power back to back. We exposed corruption, saved people who needed help. But somewhere along the way, you ended up saving me too, in a lot of different ways. So, I don't know. It's important that I recognize that. Thank you. What? Of course you are. You are crazy helpful. That's why I never gave up, you know? You kept me going. You sure have some weird taste when it comes to women, though. You're this dashing revolutionary, and I'm just some drunk with a camera. <laughs> Something doesn't add up here. <laughs> Look, what did I say about the sweet nothings? Time to get this party started. Whoa, uh, that might have to wait. Man, check out the snow! Good thing we got here before the whiteout. A real white Christmas, huh? I even get to spend it with my boyfriend. It feels too good to be true. I meant what I said, by the way, about repaying you for everything you've done. Right now, though, I just want to feel the moment. Enjoy the dream while it lasts, you know? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, got all poetic. I don't know what came over me. Hey, do you mind if I stay a little longer today? <laughs> that was rhetorical. I'm staying. Thanks a bunch. A little longer, please. Oh, right. Today's Valentine's Day. No wonder there were so many guys bringing girls in here. 
Don't you have anything exciting happening? I mean, you've been here nearly a whole year. You know, when I was young. <laughs> oh, boy. Good evening. Sorry, are you busy? Oh, uh, you should have just told me. Here, I'll leave the store to you. Enjoy yourselves. I love people who can read the situation. Thanks. So, then a while, a pretty long while. <laughs> Me too. I mean, wait! So you go to the reformatory without telling me? And then you don't call me after you get discharged? You really do things your own way, huh? <sighs> I can't get mad at you if you actually apologize. Well, I'm just glad you're safe. Here, as long as we're making up, I can give you this. Well, it's pretty quality stuff, so you gotta eat them, okay? Work's been going pretty smoothly. My publisher was going to reassign me to the political department. They said it was because I did such a good job contributing to the sales numbers. A lot of that's thanks to your help, right? So you better stick with me from now on. Can't miss my rise to the top. Hey, something wrong? I see. Can I sit next to you? You're really serious about this, huh? Even though it'll mean the whole long distance thing. No, hey, I'm not blaming you. Sometimes you gotta make hard choices. And honestly, it seems like the decision's done a lot of good for you. Something feels different about you now, that's for sure. So what changed you? Was it life on the inside, or did you go through something else? <sighs> I guess I'm not here to interview you. Speaking of changes, things are a little different for me too. All my life I've had my mind on the job and not a lot else. But now I've got someone who's just as important as my work. And if it's for them, well, I think I could do anything. Could be anyone. Even if we're far apart, I'll always be with you. So you can come to me whenever you need to, okay? Perfect timing. You've got a guest. Right now? Just like that? Well, what my boyfriend wants, he gets. Let me finish up work and I'll get going. Shinagawa, I was wondering what you had in mind. But an aquarium? Huh, not exactly my go-to spot, but it's pretty nice. They actually had me write up an article on date spots in the city back in the day. I remember wondering what was so great about staring at a load of fish. Now I think I get it. It's like, when you're with your true love, any date is a great date. <laughs> or something cheesy like that. <laughs> By the way, is this a date for White Day? What? That's so sweet! Still, I kind of figured you had some plan in the works. Maybe. Well, I think that's the last exhibit. Time to get wasted! Oh, except you. You're sticking to juice. Anywhere you want to go eat? Yeah, we should totally... Wait, what? You... Uh, really? 
Then I guess you're leading the charge today. Wow, not bad. When you say it's so deadpan, I can't tell if you're joking. Even just walking in, you were all slick, escorting me around like a gentleman. Makes me fall in love with you all over again. I should be thanking you. Oh, my bad. Sorry about that. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on this special day. We wish you all an unforgettable evening with one last finishing touch from us. Hmm, something's going down. Whoa, this is insane. Uh, oh, this is for me, huh? Well, thanks. And stop looking at me like that. I know I've got a stupid grin. I mean, flowers. For me? Nobody gets me flowers. Ever. You can say that again. You totally got me. Almost gave me a heart attack. Man, I am getting played so bad. And by a freaking high schooler. But since it's you... I guess the usual rules don't really apply, huh? Not just today. Even when I was having problems with my boss. It seems like you're always putting other people before yourself. I really, genuinely admire that. Hey, you remember what you said to me when we started dating? I said I'd stick with you until you got bored of me, right? Well, I'm changing the rules a little. Just gotta make sure you never get bored of me. Cause I wanna be right there with you. No matter what kind of future's in the cards for you. Hope you're ready for it. We've still got some time left, right? So, let's stay together a little while longer. Oh, honey. Time. I've been waiting for you. Isn't it kind of refreshing to see each other like this in broad daylight? Okay, let's start off this celebratory moment with something to drink. That's the spirit! Oh, no, sorry, I was just kidding. You can join in on the booze once you're of age. So I'm thinking it's time for me to write an article about Kayo's case. Ever since all that stuff happened with Shido, the stories haven't stopped rolling in. But it looks like I can finally avenge her. And it's all thanks to your hard work. You know, you and I are partners now. In a lot of ways. Here, it's a record of all the struggles we shared. <sighs> so this is it, huh? You go your way and I go mine. It's gonna get so boring around here. Though something tells me going home isn't going to keep you from stirring up some trouble. Call it a reporter's hunch, I guess. I suppose you're just a permanent person of interest. So no dropping off the map, okay? I suppose you're just a perm. I suppose you're just a...
Really? Oh, that's right.
Really? Um... Discovery. You're right. <laughs> All right.
Let's do it!
Join. Why? Excuse me. You got a problem? Really do this. Excuse me.
Um... Thanks!
nothing. It's just... Mind if I, you know, do the getting closer thing? You gave me permission, so no take-backs! This is the same room I've always had. But it looks so different now. It's not just here, though. My whole world is expanding. Every day brings new and different discoveries. The direction of Sojiro's cowlick, the atmosphere of Yongen, the various types of coffee beans! Things might be the exact same as they were yesterday, but from my perspective, it's all spinning! I knew it was possible, but I had never really felt that sensation before now. I just hope I can keep changing little by little, like everyone else does. <sighs> yeah. Oh, by the way, I got a text from Kanachan saying she got a job at a convenience store. It sounds like she's just happy to be living life like a normal teenager. Plus, she got study guides with the money she made. She's gonna take the high school entrance exam. Even Kanachan's trying to step out into the world. The, the Phantom Thieves are more important right now. But I'd like to. Someday. So, you said you'd give me a reward if I completed my promise list, remember? <laughs> That's the Joker I know. You know, thinking about what to buy in Akihabara felt kinda different to me this time. There were plenty of things I wanted, but it was all stuff I could get if I worked really hard. And after all, I already have something I wouldn't have been able to get on my own. You don't think so? No, you're forgetting. You gave me something really important. You gave me my life back. It's thanks to you that I learned I'm fine just as I am, and that I learned to trust my mom again. I was as good as dead. Me. I'd like to work with the Phantom Thieves to return the favor. Not only that, I realized if I only act for my own sake, I can't put my full effort in. Remember my friends? Thou, thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of the hermit, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right. gave me my life back, so it's my turn to risk my life for you. Feel free to tell me anything. I'll do whatever I can to help. I'm serious, okay? Yep, you might as well just give in. And? I never said I was gonna let my reward go unclaimed. So, instead of training myself to be away from you, I want the right to not have to leave you. That way, I'll never be a part if I don't want to be. Really? <sighs> you know, I don't mind if my purpose is the same as yours. Not just as a thief, but in life too. Actually, I want it to be the same. So warm. <gasps> what? I'm crying? I don't understand. But this is my right until I say so. Don't 
don't let go of me. <laughs> well, not like I'd ever say that. Y you're okay with going home a little late today, right? Marriage, huh? Do you want to get married? Um, marriage? Well, that won't be for a while. In the meantime... Too. Okay, let's get down to business. First, we gotta get some roasted chicken. I'm talking as big as me. Okay, let's roll. Wait up. Uh, aren't you forgetting something? I mean, you're my boyfriend, so... Uh, yeah. Uh... Well, there you go. But don't grip it too hard, okay? I'm kind of new to all this stuff, so as long as we take it slow... Too. Um, excuse me, do you have any Christmas cake left? Actually, we do! Yeah, game over? One of our orders was cancelled last minute. This is the only cake we have. What? Really? Then yeah, we want it! Of course! Just wait one moment while I go prepare your order. didn't do much. Really, I should be thanking you for sticking with me, even when things started getting dicey. Oh, but besides that... I, uh, got you a little present. And I figured we might as well have matching ones, cause, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend. This way, you can look at it sometimes and think of me. Really? That's good. I'm really happy too. Uh... <laughs> you got cream on your nose, you big old dork. Man, Christmas is super fun. I'd have never learned that if it weren't for you falling in love with me. Thank you. Then I guess we can thank each other. of our Christmas bash. Party, transform! Oh, hey! It's snowing even harder now. It's a lot prettier now that we're not stuck in some crowd. I've never had a Christmas like this before. My world just keeps getting bigger. I'm super happy. So much that it's a little scary. Hey, it's pretty cold, right? So... Is it cool if I sit a little closer? Oh, hey, 
Can I bother you for a sec? Hey, hey. Right, today's Valentine's Day. No wonder there were so many guys bringing girls in here. Don't you have anything exciting happening? I mean, you've been here nearly a whole year. You know, when I was young, <laughs> oh boy. Yo. Still working? You didn't even bring me anything. Well, don't get wrapped up in the mood, you hear? <laughs> that Mona. Okay. Jeez, I don't know if it's because it's been a while, but I'm all self-conscious. Right, uh, I want to say something first. I was so freaking scared when I found out you were gone. Like, actually serious freak-out panic attack scared. Uh, you get one point of forgiveness. Sorry, but as your teammate, and, um, your girlfriend, I gotta ask, from now on, don't shut me out. 
let me help when things get hard. So, yeah, that's all the mushy stuff out of the way. Uh, okay. Uh, next up, we got... Chocolates! Cause, you know, Valentine's Day, it's a thing. Really? Well, so am I then. I guess we're back in the canon reality, huh? Still, I think it was probably the right decision. It's still hard sometimes, but I'm making progress. Thanks. I'm gonna beat this. Hey, can we sit? Together, I mean? You're going home next month, huh? Of course! But it's not like I'm gonna stop you. This is just me thinking out loud, but I only wanted one thing when I joined the Phantom Thieves. To find out why my mom died. But now, I've got one more person to help. Not even as a Phantom Thief, either. It's not about rescuing him. It's about doing all I can to make him happy. <laughs> Probably some chump. I'm counting on you, okay? Oh yeah, are you ready for tomorrow? White Day. That's tomorrow, right? You got some chocolates on Valentine's Day, didn't you? And White Day's when you return the favor. The men do the gifting. What's your plan? You've at least got some kind of present ready, right? Hmm. Get it together, kid. Sometimes I don't know if you're fearless or just plain careless. Fine. Listen up, and I'll give you the recipe for the ultimate date. The Chief has an ultimate date plan? I better listen in too, just in case. First off, you're gonna need a gift. This won't work without one. Can't go wrong with flowers. Just make sure you buy them before the date. You gotta present them near the end. Surprise her. So you can't let her see you buying them on the date. Got it? Huh. Gotta give them flowers, huh? I gotta take notes. Next, think about where you're taking her. You're gonna want somewhere with a right atmosphere, but it's gotta be peaceful. Oh, how about that new aquarium exhibit in Shinagawa? Just saw a commercial for it. Might be a good spot, right? The aquarium's a good place for a date. I see. Now, once the date part's over, you gotta take her out to dinner. Somewhere nice, too. But it's kinda last minute to make reservations. All the fancy places get booked pretty fast around White Day. Okay, right. Too late to make any reservations. Oh, wait! What?! <sighs> Damn it. I don't usually do this, but... I know a place. <sighs> Can't guarantee anything. I bet they're full up, too. But you might get an edge if you mention my name. Wow, amazing! Chief has connections! So, once you're at dinner, you get to talking, enjoying yourselves, that's when you give it to her. Good, you were paying attention. It's the perfect time to surprise her. That ought to do it. Just follow the plan and you're safe. Wow, this plan is foolproof. Leave it to the chief. Well, I taught you my secrets. The rest is on you. Do your prep, and make those reservations. <laughs> Good luck. On that note, I'm going home. Now it's up to you. You should start prepping right away. Don't waste the Chief's advice, all right? Let's see. The reservation comes first. You remember that restaurant Chief told you about? 
Thank you for calling, sir. Were you looking to make a reservation? I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid we're fully booked for tomorrow. White Day is crazy, huh? But don't worry. All you have to do is mention the chief. You're a friend of Mr. Sakura's? My apologies, sir. If you could just hold for one moment. Thank you for your patience. You wanted a dinner course for two on the 14th. We will have a table ready for you. Dang. The chief has serious clout. Could I ask your name and contact information? Okay, your dinner plans are locked in. Now you just gotta get the flowers, and then it's off to the aquarium and dinner. It's gonna be busy tomorrow, so we'd better get rest while we can. Today's the... Okay, hold on. Let me cover this. I need to express appreciation. Good luck. Okay, now you're off. Don't worry. I'm a gentleman who knows his manners. All right. Good luck out there. Hey, you. What's going on? Shinagawa. Uh, okay, I guess. Are you out right now? Could you come get... Uh... Never mind. I can meet up with you there. Alrighty. See ya. Whoa! These are the most photogenic fish ever! A big crowd of people just stresses me out. But a big school of fish is weirdly pretty. But man, an aquarium date? Classic move. I guess we gotta do all that other coupley stuff too. What? Do I have to spell it out? Couple stuff. Holding hands in the dark or cuddling up by the wall. Um, never mind. Even talking about it is getting me embarrassed. So, is this payback? For Valentine's Day, I mean? Wow, you're so mature. I'm really, really happy. Okay, I think we 100%ed the fish zone. Are you hungry? Maybe we could get some food on the way home. Oh, uh, whoa. Lead the way, I guess. Ugh, this place is like five times fancier than I was expecting. Are we gonna be okay? What if I use the wrong fork? Are they gonna kick me out? Oh, okay, you're right. You're here with me, so I can try and calm down. Uh, I'm over here freaking out. Meanwhile, you look mature enough to own the place. Even when we just walked in, you were really calm. Even cooler than usual. You can't blush or I'll blush. Oh, jeez. I'll be back in a sec. about that ladies and gentlemen thank you for joining us on this special day we wish you all an unforgettable evening with one last finishing touch from us what whoa huh Th thank you Wow. Wow, okay. Everything's cool. I'm just kinda in shock. I can't handle surprises, but this one made me happy. You're so incredible. Like, it blows my mind that you're so selfless. 
You only go all out when it comes to helping other people. Even this. You put all this together for me, right? Maybe one day, I can be like that. <laughs> yeah. You're not a phantom thief anymore. But I guess you've still got a knack for stealing hearts. Cause, um... You stole mine. God, that was the cheesiest... Oh, forget I said anything! Hey, can we hang out a little longer? I don't want to go home yet. Hey, you're finally taking off tomorrow. Sojiro said you don't have to help out here today. Go and see your friends before you leave. Seriously? You need to do this stuff properly. Come on, off you go. Good news! Kana-chan passed her high school entrance exam. She sent me a message this morning. I told her I was getting into high school too, and she says we can make our student debuts together. So, like, I did it, right? I fulfilled the promise to go to high school? Ooh, I like the sound of that. If you need ideas, there's always a year supply of instant ramen. Well, I'll leave it up to you. If I'm being honest, I'm actually really, really nervous about it. I don't know if I can make friends. This is way out of my comfort zone. Everything I think about's giving me anxiety. But I know I can't stay in my room forever, and that's way more important. And I want to get into college, major in real cognitive science, like my mom and Dr. Maruki. For now, I'll give up my notebook and that reward. The one where I don't have to leave you, I mean. And when I make my dream come true one day, when I've earned it, I'll... I'll take them both back. So, you better not cry. I won't, and you won't, and we're, we're both gonna be just fine. Saying goodbye to me? Oh, cut it out. You're gonna see me tomorrow. Just remember to pack once you get back, you hear? I don't want you forgetting anything important here. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this. The Diary of the Phantom Thieves' Leader, huh? Probably gonna be worth a lot someday. Thanks, though. I'll keep it safe. Well, we've all been through a lot, but it seems like everything's changed for the better. Try to behave yourself back home, would you? <laughs> Not like you ever listened to me, anyway. Here, I want you to have these. I've got them memorized already. With that stuff, you can make the same... Well, no, that'd be a waste. Put your own spin on the flavor. Develop it. Make it yours. Come on, you should get going. You still got things to do, right? Hey, there you are! I need your help with something. I, uh, found this flyer stuffed in my mailbox. Housekeeping service? It says that a cute maid will do anything for you. A maid, dude. A maid! Who'll do anything for us? Right? Right? You're a guy, right? You know what I mean. Let's give it a try. Yeah? Yeah? Luckily, some guy on my floor just moved out, so there's a vacant apartment in my complex. The key is behind the mailbox, so we can get in any time. The landlord seriously doesn't care. The place is all set, so... Hey! I heard that! What the hell? Um... Can I, uh, get in on this? Oh, you mean you're into this kind of stuff? Wow, okay! I'm not into it. It's just for research. 
What does it mean that they'll do anything? And do the maids look exactly as they're advertised? We need to determine whether or not this company just pretends to offer housekeeping services. I just want to punish the bad guys. And in order to do that, I have to see it with my own eyes. Yeah, we, we gotta see it with our own eyes. Every little detail. We'll have to do this at night, so let us know when you're ready. So what's the code name for this operation? Hmm. Uh, since we'll be watching them, it should be something like... Operation Maid Watch! <laughs> nice! I like that. My bad, man. Wh what? Welcome home, Master.
Hey. This is your room, huh? Hmm. How do I put this? Uh, never mind. So, what kind of kid are you? The way you opposed Mr. Kamoshida, I'd say that you're earnest and have a strong sense of justice. That being said, you called a maid service and requested me? I see. Oh, that's right. You have a criminal record. Okay, then how about this? I'll let you skip class a few times. It's tough not having any place where you belong, isn't it? However, I reserve the right to change my mind if your grades drop. And in exchange, you won't tell anyone that I'm moonlighting as a maid. Sound good? And it's a deal. To think you pulled off so many crimes while attending school. I can't believe you managed that by yourself. There had to be someone at the school helping you. What do you have to say to that? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the temperance persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. doing here with one of my students well I guess I should get going oh please request me if you need any help with your housework okay well I mean we know each other's secret and it would really put my mind at ease Besides, I'm, uh, I'm considered over the hill for this type of job, so I don't get requested that often. I'll show my appreciation by making it easy for you to ditch class. Just think about it, okay? Master!
night.
sorry. All right. Uh, so...
Besides, I'm, uh... Later then. See you later then.
right. All right. Thanks. Good night. So what should we do today? Hey! Sorry. It's nice to finally have some me time. I've been so busy lately. Hey, what are you looking at? I appreciate your honesty. So, um, let's take a walk. Ooh! Look! Garlic shrimp! Tasting the local delicacies is an absolute must on vacation, don't you think? Right? Hey, mister! Two orders of garlic shrimp, please! Oh my god! I think I'm craving a beer! Why does drinking on the beach have to be prohibited in Hawaii? You two from Japan? Yes, we are. How about them phantom thieves, huh? The guys that steal hearts. <laughs> wow, you're very well informed. 
Heard about it on the news. They're all the rage in Japan, yeah? You're quite the celebrity. Say, if you run into them, tell them I say hello. And ask them to change people's hearts so everyone loves shrimp. <laughs> okay, I'll let them know. By the way, you two honeymooning here? Oh my! Come on, let's go. Oh, it's been years since I've seen something so beautiful. I was having so much fun. I hope no one saw us. Although, I wouldn't back down if someone actually confronted us about it. To tell you the truth, I'm worried that you're lonely because of the position I'm in. If that's true, then I'm sorry. So do I. Anyway, this is my first time here. Hawaii is really nice, isn't it? Let's come back sometime. Just the two of us. Here, take this. Power of a paycheck. Just kidding. It's to commemorate today. Was that not a good idea? It's gonna get dark soon. We should head back. If you say so, Master. Weird being here dressed in a normal outfit. Well, I'm completely done with that part-time job. Oh, and my students. I've been giving them all a lot of advice. So, um, about that talk we had? You know, about whether or not we should date? I'm sorry. I really thought it through, though, you know? I was so happy. 
When you shared your feelings the other day, I finally realized how I felt. But... I'm a teacher, and you're my student. You're in a tricky situation as it is. If we get caught, suspension would be just the beginning. I'm restraining myself because you're so special to me. Where does that confidence come from? Ugh! Why are you so okay with this? Now I feel dumb for trying to back away. I had every intention of saying goodbye to you. Oh, fine. Why would you like a woman like me? You're a high school student with strange tastes. Or is that the sort of thing a member of the Phantom Thieves is into? That whole thing with Takase-kun's guardians worked out way too good for me. And you're the only one who knew about my situation. I haven't lived this long without learning a thing or two, you know. Don't worry, I have no intention of telling anyone. There are a lot of stories about the Phantom Thieves, but in the end, they help people like me, right? That's so you. I just thought you were a problem child with a criminal record, but now I know better. I'll support you 100%. You're not just a student to me. You're someone special who helped me realize my path as a teacher. A new path where I'll never abandon any of my students. Right? For my students and for you. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of temperance, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right. Life really is a roller coaster, isn't it? I went from being a teacher to being a maid to dating a high school student. So, as someone who went from being my master to my boyfriend, do you have any requests for me? I'll obey them, you know, even though I'm no longer a maid. so conceited. You're younger, so you should rely on me. Here, by all means. Looks are so deceiving. I thought you were one of those shy guys who didn't pursue women. Can I stay with you a little bit longer today? is being ignored, and yet they continue to give it their all. That's today's youth for you, I guess. Uh, what? Anyway, about what Akechi-kun said earlier. And now it's time for your favorite Shujin tradition, the student sharing special! Round of applause, everyone! Want to go someplace where we can be alone? There's something I want to talk to you about. Enjoy the post-festival party. Just stop by the Students' Association room when you're done. All right, who has something to say? Anyone? Anyone? No? I'll just have to pick someone then. How about... the good sir over there? Well then, come on up. Now, now, you're not shy, are you? He's either 
That was quick. You know how Akechi-kun was talking about the true identity of the Phantom Thieves? Well, let me know if you're in any trouble, okay? I'll be there to help you. I'm trying to be serious here. No matter what's going on around you, I'll always be on your side. I know I always end up depending on you because you're so reliable. But depend on me sometimes, all right? No, we're at school, remember? It's not exactly a substitute, but I can give you this. This is embarrassing. That's a relief. All right, I'm going back to work. Oh, and about what you just asked me to do? I'm pretty okay with it, as long as we're not at school. Get home safely. There you are. It gets so crowded on Christmas Eve. I know this was kind of out of the blue. You sure I'm not stepping on any other plans? Oh my gosh, what a caring master. Becky's such a lucky girl. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Seriously though, I am glad to hear it. By the way, are you hungry? Maybe we could go grab a bite somewhere. It's Christmas Eve, we should make the most of it. And don't worry about the cost, okay? I'm the working adult here, I'll cover it. Cool, let's go then. Something wrong? Oh, I see how it is. You're looking to hold hands, huh? No, I get it. Christmas Eve, walking with your sweetheart, hands locked together. It's really sweet, but not this time. You know, someone might see us. Oh, what? Uh, enough with the puppy dog eyes. You're making me feel like a monster. Well... We can't let anyone see us, so just for a little bit, okay? So much for having it covered. You'd think at least one place would have a spot open. Hey, you can't just launch into the sweet talk. Actually, forget that. Tell me more. Anyhow, if dinner's off the table, we can at least get a cake. An actual Christmassy one, too. Hey, that looks like a little cake shop. Let's go check it out. They might be sold out, too. Oh, what the hell, I'm just gonna go for it. You never know. Excuse me, do you have any Christmas cakes left? Actually, we do. Yeah, I figured. Wait, what? One of our orders was canceled last minute. This is the only cake we have. Whoa, seriously? Well, in that case... Yeah, we'd love to buy it. Of course. Just wait one moment while I go prepare your order. Well, that's a surprise. We really got lucky, huh? Oh my god, you went to all that trouble for little old Becky? <laughs> yeah, no, I highly doubt that. Anyhow, let's get this miracle cake out of here and go enjoy our evening. This is delicious. I think it's been years since the last time I got to actually enjoy cake. <laughs> Hmm. 
pretty smooth. But... Those lines don't work the best when you've got cream on your nose. It reminds me you're still the younger one here and how I should be looking out for you as the adult. But somehow, I always end up running to you for help. Honestly, I really don't like that you keep putting yourself in danger. Why does it have to be you? Still, I can't get mad at you for following your heart. It's the only reason I got my life back. So, thank you. Really. And congratulations on everything you've accomplished, too. I owe you a lot. Not just because of the Phantom Thieves' work, but what you've done for me. You helped me remember what I really wanted to do with my life. That's why I got you a little something. Here, it's a pretty good pen case, so it'll be good for school, right? You can carry it with you, and I thought maybe you could look at it and think of me. Hey, um, thank you for loving me. I mean, I know it doesn't exactly look good. A teacher and a student shouldn't have a relationship like ours. But this, this is the happiest I've ever been. Uh, that's enough serious stuff for one night. Let's get to the fun part. Oh, yikes. I was wondering what that was. It's really snowing a lot harder out there. I don't know if the trains can still run in this weather. Whoa, 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 down, boy. That's not happening. But I will hang around a little longer, at least. Just bear with me for now, okay? <sighs> I never thought I'd spend a quiet Christmas Eve with you. It feels like a dream. Well, we're both here and we're both happy, so for now, life's pretty good. Hey, I want to stay close for a little longer. Do you mind? the shop from tomorrow onward, right? Oh, right. Today's Valentine's Day. No wonder there were so many guys bringing girls in here. Don't you have anything exciting happening? I mean, you've been here nearly a whole year. You know, when I was young. <laughs> oh, boy. Good evening. Miss Kawakami. A teacher and a student. So this sort of thing really does happen, huh? Here, I'll leave the store to you. Enjoy yourselves. Hello. Thanks. Oh, you really are back. It's only now that I actually see you. I missed that honesty, and well, I missed you too. It was clear from the start that you'd be a lot of trouble, but I never expected you to turn yourself in. When I heard about it, I, I kind of broke down. God, can you imagine? I cried like a schoolgirl. Usually, I'd give you a written apology due tomorrow, but I guess you had your reasons. So this time, it's fine. Anyway, the real reason I'm here... Homemade chocolate specially made with plenty of love and warmth. Oh, I like your honesty. 
I know I said it already, but I'm glad to see you're doing okay. We're so busy preparing for graduation and entrance ceremonies. Still, at least that kept my mind off worrying about you. Can I sit next to you? You're going back home next month. That means we won't be able to see each other at school anymore. Yeah, as long as you're not going back to prison, I guess it's not that big a deal. Hey, something's different about you, right? It's not exactly your behavior, it's... Hmm, it's hard to describe. Well, I guess people change. After all, I did too. My students are still important to me. I can fight for them. But now, I've got someone I'd do anything for. I've never really felt like this toward anyone before. I hope he realizes how lucky he is. Let's stay like this just a little longer. Right now, what do you need? Right now? That's kind of sudden. But sure, I'm almost done with work, so I can head over. Is that so? Really? I don't usually go to places like this. It's actually kind of nice. Might be a good place to stop by if the job gets me too stressed out. Oh, oh, sorry. I know you didn't invite me here so I could complain about work. Today should be my quality time with Master. Or something like that. Oh, you're so unfair. I don't know how you say these lines with a straight face. I'm supposed to be the adult here, but I can't take the lead at all. This is a date for White Day, right? I didn't realize how earnest you were. You're chivalrous. You're devoted. You actually take the time to think about me. I really like that about you. Okay, I'm totally de-stressed now. Want to grab a bite on our way back? What? Uh, I had no idea. Well, I guess you're the master. You reserved this place? Hey, you don't have to look so smug. But thank you. I guess part of me still saw you as a troublemaker. But every time I see you, you seem like more of an adult. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know how you got so smooth. I'm not the one who's supposed to be getting butterflies right now. Wait, I mean, not that I am. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on this special day. We wish you all an unforgettable evening with one last finishing touch from us. Huh? What the heck? Wow. They're for me? Thank you. You can't scare me like this. I was about to look around for the hidden camera. Well, you definitely got me. You really are strange. To me, you were just some punk with a record. Turns out you're a phantom thief, protector of the weak. But you're not just some teacher's pet either. The only thing about you that's consistent is you're always fighting for someone else's sake, not just yourself. 
I genuinely admire that. Whatever else you are, you're a good person. White Day isn't over yet, right? So we can spend a little more time together. I've been waiting for you. Even though it's Sunday, aren't you nervous being at school, just the two of us? It sure was a crazy year, huh? Try to be a little more diligent with school once you're home. Wow, you're so obedient. But this is the last time we'll see each other for a while. You can at least look a little sad about it. I'm kidding. Honestly, seeing you so happy gives me peace of mind. This year has felt so fulfilling. I had to take care of you sometimes, but I also learned from you. So this isn't meant to thank you for all of that, but... You get special treatment, Master. So make sure you let me know if you need anything, okay? It wasn't even for that long, but you're my student and my master. No matter where you are, no matter how long it takes, you'll always have me. Take care. If you ever need me, just say the word, and I'm there. Take care. If you ever need me, just say the word, and I'm there. Hey, hey! What? Yes? Can I help you? Huh? Um, you don't necessarily have to learn from me, you know. There are other options, such as playing online. Sorry, I just can't. Well then... Um... So, you like Shogi? Like me? You're a bit strange, but thank you. Um... Okay, just a quick game then. 20 seconds per move, if that's alright with you. I'll start. So this is your skill level, huh? The dragon which governs the blue sky has fallen into my hands. How do you intend to survive this? Check. It's checkmate no matter how you look at it. Please concede. To concede is an act of admitting that you have lost with grace. If you aspire to become a shogi player, I recommend that you take your study of the game to heart. Thank you for playing. Well then, that will be all for today. If it's all right with you, may I request another match sometime? I feel a gambler's spirit emanating from you, which is strange, since your style of play is that of a complete novice. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. However, I will instruct you under one condition. You become my playing partner so that I can research new moves. Is that agreeable? That's precious. Well then, it's a deal. I'll teach you how to play, and you'll assist me with my new moves. I think that quite advanced strategies are necessary to succeed at that many criminal acts. And yours weren't by the wit of an amateur. 
You had a professional who regularly deals with such tactics. You have an idea on who that is, don't you? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the star persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Okay, let's end here for today. Thank you for today. I made it on time. I suppose I'm still safe if you're here. All right. I look forward to it. Until next time. I look 
look forward to it. All right. Let's go. Until next time. Thank you very much. Actually...
Until next time. Actually... I didn't expect to slide a nice surprise. Um, do I look strange in this? Perhaps I should go change. Huh? Oh, thank you very much. Um, shall we take a walk? Oh, looks like they sell shrimp. Shrimp are symbolic of living a long life. Shall we have some? I wonder how they'll taste. You two from Japan? Yes. How about them phantom thieves, huh? The guys that steal hearts. <laughs> You've heard about the phantom thieves? Heard about it on the news. They're all the rage in Japan, yeah? Say, if you run into them, tell them I say hello. And ask them to change people's hearts so everyone loves shrimp. <laughs> Sh sure. Oh, they're quite pungent. It's so beautiful. This is a refreshing break from staring at a shogi board all day long. I feel as if I'll be able to come up with some great new moves once I return home. Were you bored spending time with me? We would have had a more enjoyable time if I had made better conversation. What? Of course not! Um... This is for you. I would be delighted if you remembered this day. If only we went to the same school. Yes, I'd like that. Sun is about to set. 
We should start heading back. Yes. Unbelievable. to it. 
I'll start. Until next time. Good evening. Um... I look forward to it. Hey!
I quit the Ladies Professional Shogi Players Association. I need to start over as an amateur. That's my intention. There were a lot of people who covered for me by saying that I was just being used by adults, but I'm the one who was most at fault. I was overconfident. If only I had taken a look at myself and properly assessed my shogi skills, I believed that with my skills, I could overcome being treated like an idol. There's nothing I can say about my mother. You didn't abandon me, even after you learned about the fixed matches. Now I know how encouraging it feels to have someone believe in you. At first, this was just a deal. You help me develop new moves and I give you shogi lessons. But before I knew it, you became someone I couldn't do without. I'm not gonna pay attention to all the criticism anymore. This time, I'll earn everyone's praise with my own skills. The reason I'm able to think this way is because you stuck by my side. I'm really grateful. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the star, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right. Well then, on to our final lesson. I truly hope that you... No. That the Phantom Thieves find my lessons useful. I'm honored to hear that from one of the Phantom Thieves. I spoke to you about my mother, and then my mother changed. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. If there's anything I can do to help, please know that you can rely on me. I will support you in whatever you want to accomplish. Hey! Being a hero must keep you busy trying to help everyone, huh? Well... I no longer have a ban on dating. So, for the time being, please let me have you all to myself. Apologies for the wait. Um, well, Merry Christmas. That is the proper greeting, right? It's how this ought to be done? Hey, I only wanted to know if that was the appropriate phrase. Now that I think of it, I'm aware that Christmas is considered a couple's holiday, but what exactly do we do? Ah, well, I'm certainly prepared for that. I have one ready for later tonight, but I suppose we'll need to pass the time until then. Perhaps you'd like to go out for dinner together? Let's go find a restaurant. <sighs> it's quite cold today, isn't it? If it would help... We could hold hands. What a tragic miscalculation. I can't believe every restaurant's booked solid. I 
I could stand to learn from that optimism. Um, to your home? I wouldn't mind that at all. But let me at least contribute a cake to the occasion. It is Christmas after all. Ah, it looks like there's a shop over there. We could see if they have any. Something tells me this might be a wasted effort. No, a battle cannot end before it's even begun. Time to push onward. Excuse me, I don't suppose you have any Christmas cake left? Actually, we do! <sighs> Just as I thought. Huh? One of our orders was cancelled last minute. Really? Well, if that's the case... We'd love to buy it, right away. Of course! Just wait one moment while I go prepare your order. One miraculous move and defeat became victory. I can't believe it. Me too. There's never a dull moment when I'm with you. I'm so glad we got to have today for ourselves. Mmm. Mmm, it's delicious. Though, it may simply be that I enjoy everything more when I'm with you. Well, it'd be a waste to throw it away. I'll take you up on that. You should have some more, too. Oh! <laughs> some cream on your face, that's all. It's rare I see you so unguarded. I see that Christmas has its advantages. Ah yes, I almost forgot. Here's your present. I hope you like it. Good. I'm glad to hear that. They say it'll be even colder next year. Remember to take good care of yourself so you don't get sick. A great deal of people still need you. Myself included. I have my grand campaigns on the Shogi board. But you have your own battles to fight, don't you? You, and the other Phantom Thieves. I'm sure I'm not the first you've saved. Nor will I be the last, presumptuous as it may be. Speaking on behalf of everyone you've helped. Thank you. Truly. Of course. In truth, I was intending to ask you about the dangers you might be facing. But now that I have you here, all that worries faded away somehow. Oh, look! Out there! What a sight! It's snowing much harder now. I've always found snow to be so pretty. Although... It used to make me feel somewhat lonely as well. But when I look at it now, all I can think is how beautiful it all is. I'm just so happy with you. Sometimes I wonder if this is even my real life. I know. Sometimes everything really can go perfectly according to plan. Would you mind if I made one last selfish request today? Please, let me stay here. Just a little longer. Yeah.
Um... Oh, right. Today's Valentine's Day. No wonder there were so many guys bringing girls in here. Don't you have anything exciting happening? I mean, you've been here nearly a whole year. You know, when I was young. <laughs> oh, boy. Excuse me. Oh, uh, you should have just told me. Here. I'll leave the store to you. Enjoy yourselves. Good evening. Thank you very much. It's been a while. But that, that's not what this is about. I was really scared, you know. You are unbelievable. Oh, no. It's not like I'm trying to lecture you. The reason I'm here today is... I wanted to give you this. It didn't turn out perfectly, though. I'm glad. Just d don't expect too much from the taste. I was still stressed when I came here, but seeing you helps. I feel like I can finally breathe again. How to put it? People still call me the phony princess, but to be honest, I like it better than being treated like an idol. It's really freeing. Now I can focus on Shogi. From now on, I'll strive to be the best player, professional and otherwise. And. I hope I'll still have you at my side. Um, is something wrong? Is that so? May I sit with you? So, we're on borrowed time then. Soon, we won't be able to do this. In a heartbeat, unfortunately. I don't think it can be that simple. I suppose people change, and that's that. Both of us have. I do feel like there's something different about you. It's hard to explain. Something in how you carry yourself? Well, it seems like a positive change, whatever it is. I've changed myself, I suppose. I never felt distressed being alone, until I met you. There's a change even more drastic than that. Now, I know what it's like to fall in love. To be so devoted to someone in heart and mind, I'd do anything for them. It's unlike anything I've ever felt. That means I'm quite serious about you. And I will not allow a redo. Yes? To Shinagawa? Sure. Let me get my things and I'll head over. I'll see you later. Everything here is so ethereal. I've never been to an aquarium before. It's beautiful. 
This might be a good way to relax my mind before a match. Then again, I don't know if I'd feel so calm without you at my side. In that case, perhaps it's not that I should visit the aquarium, but that I should come to see you? Uh, I, I'm sorry. I, I wasn't thinking. Please, forget you heard anything. Uh, right. More importantly, today is White Day, isn't it? Would it be safe to assume the timing of our date was no accident? So I was right. You've no idea how much I wanted to hear that. It appears the exhibit is almost over. I wish the evening didn't have to end so soon. What? Well then, if it means more time with you, all the better. I wasn't expecting anything as grand as this. This can't be standard fare for high school couples, can it? I had no idea. You've certainly opened my eyes. <laughs> that confidence suits you. I see traces of my valiant partner in the Great Wars of Shogi. And perhaps, a partner I can rely on in my life beyond the board. It's only fitting that I devote myself to supporting you in turn. I'm sorry. Please excuse me a moment. Apologies for the wait. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on this special day. We wish you all an unforgettable evening, with one last finishing touch from us. What could this be? <gasps> it's wonderful. Are you sure about this? Thank you so much. The restaurant alone was stunning, but you even got me a beautiful gift. I don't know how to thank you. A surprise indeed. What a perfectly executed maneuver. You take such good care of other people. You put their needs before your own without a second thought. It's one of the reasons I respect you so much. And yet, respect alone isn't enough. One day, I hope I can emulate that selflessness myself. It's a goal I can devote myself to. That can wait until tomorrow, perhaps? Right now, as long as we don't have a shogi board in the way. The only thing I want to be devoted to is you.
All right. Thanks. Bye. Ah, you're back. What did you say?
That's so.
I see. Let's get back. It's finally just the two of us. <laughs> Aren't you staring a little too much? This isn't the first time you've seen me in this. Oh, come on. But I'm glad to hear you say that, so I guess I can let you off the hook. Hey, let's go for a walk. Oh, I know that food stand. They sell garlic shrimp there. I've heard it's super delish. Come on, we should try it. I love that about you. Hi, can I get two plates of garlic shrimp, please? Oh my god, it's so good! You two from Japan? Huh? Oh, yes, we are. How about them phantom thieves, huh? The guys that steal hearts. <laughs> you know about the Phantom Thieves? Heard about it on the news. They're all the rage in Japan, yeah? This is incredible. Say, if you run into them, tell them I say hello. And ask them to change people's hearts so everyone loves shrimp. <laughs> uh, well, I don't think that's really how it works. Let's go. Beautiful. I told Shiho I wasn't into this cheesy dating stuff. But now that I've actually tried it out, it's really not that bad. I guess it's because I have someone special to do it with. Thanks. <laughs> I love you too. Here, you can have this. It'll help you remember how special today was. Hey, let's come back to Hawaii sometime. I mean, by ourselves. Yes! Anyway, it's starting to get dark. Should we head back? <laughs> okay. We'll just have to wait for now.
Okay. Sorry, I was just worried about the whole thing with Akechi Kun. We're gonna be okay, right? You're right. We should have fun here while we can. And now it's time for your favorite shooting tradition the student sharing special! Round of applause, everyone! They're really doing this again this year. I guess this disorder really makes the post-festival party what it is. How about... the girl in the hoodie with the super bleached hair? Huh? Me? Well then, come on up! What should I do? You don't have to be so cold. Are they from Shujin? What do you think, Takamaki? 
Jean? What do I think? the courage to stand up and say that in front of everyone. Huh? So you did it to help me? At any rate, I had really frozen up for a second there. So... thanks. You were a huge help. You know, you're actually a pretty dependable guy. I think we'll be good together. Uh, ignore that. <laughs> Talking about the future, <laughs> that's a bit too heavy for right now. <laughs> Stop that! <laughs> I'm still worried about a catchy kun. But this post festival party actually turned out pretty fun. I, um,. I want you to have this. I hope you like it. Wanna head home together?
W wow, we got on here really quickly. <sighs> yeah. Back when I met Shiho, when she saved me, I realized that personal relationships are something to be treasured. That's why I'm not going to run away anymore. I'll face myself head on. This time, it's my turn to help someone. But I'm still kind of worried. Do you think you could help me? Mm hmm. You can lean on me too if you need it. I feel like we finally see each other eye to eye. I'm so glad I met you. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of the lovers, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right. Promise me that you'll stay by my side, okay? <laughs> Are you worried? Maybe it's more fitting for you to be chasing after me. Kidding. I wouldn't be able to handle that. To be honest, lately it's felt lonely just waiting for the next time I'll get to see you. Thank you for enjoying our Ferris wheel experience. The gondola will arrive at the platform shortly. Huh? It's over already? We went all the way around, but I didn't see any scenery. All I saw was you. <laughs> um, before we get off, sh should we at least do one thing, you know, that couples do? Leave it to you. Should I close my eyes? This affects you too. Well, with your grades, I'm not too worried. You've missed a lot of classes, so it couldn't hurt to study. Oh, yeah. He's good at studying. Oh, I feel kind of betrayed. Betrayed might be a bit much. Don't worry, Lady On. Even if you're not great at studying, I'll... Now then, let's get to it. What do you want me to teach you? While he was out, there was something they were saying would be on the test. Oh, I know! It was a, a, do, 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 do uh, what, what, what was it again? History. do -kyu. Was it about the origin of do -kyu? do -kyu means something that is larger than others of its kind, but the name comes from a battleship, Dreadnought. They attached Do, the first sound of the word in Japanese, with Q, which means class. That's it! I'm impressed you knew what he was talking about. How about taking a break? Uh, sounds good to me. I can't do any more. So like, we've been doing Phantom Thief work all this time, right? We learned a bunch doing that. 
Even if we study and learn what we can in school, doesn't it feel kind of pointless? At the very least, it's necessary for Ryuji. You want to say that again? Those sorts of experiences are important, too. But common sense is just as important. You should know better than anyone how nasty adults without common sense can be. That's a great point. Someday you'll graduate high school and become adults. Then, when you get married, you'll need common sense more than ever. Marriage, huh? Do you want to get married? I see. Well, that won't be for a while. In the meantime, I'm more concerned with what I'm going to be eating tomorrow. Oh, cut it out, man. You're making me hungry. Well, I guess we just gotta get back to studying. Hiya! Hey! Yeah! for kind of keeping you guessing. I was trying to be subtle, but I just really wanted to see you. Yeah, let's keep it quiet for now. Still don't know how the group's gonna take it, you know? Anyway, let's get dinner. It's probably because we were busy saving the world, but I'm starving. <laughs> okay, let's go. All right. Do you want to hold hands? Oh, this sucks. I can't believe every place is full. Oh, Christmas Eve really is a war zone. Where'd that come from? Not that I'm not happy to hear it. We just gotta pull it together? And go get a cake! So, let's go hit the stores. <sighs> Something tells me they're sold out too. Excuse me, you guys don't have any Christmas cakes left, do you? Actually, we do! Yeah, I figured. Oh, wait, what? One of our orders was cancelled last minute. This is the only cake we have. What? Then... Yes! We want it! We'll pay right now! Of course! Just wait one moment while I go prepare your order. Wow! Did that just happen? This isn't like a hidden camera thing, right? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was just so happy I kind of short-circuited. But we got cake! Yay, cake! <laughs> Let's head home and dig in! Ah, oh, so good. This 
is the best cake ever! I can't believe they let us buy it on the spot. Now that's a gift. Uh, I don't know. Christmas in general? Oh, right! Christmas! Speaking of... Ta-da! <laughs> Here's your gift. I saw it when I was shopping the other day. It's totally your style. And it's only gonna get colder, so... Yeah! What do you think? It's great, right? Whoa. Jeez. If you get so serious about it, you're gonna make me blush. Hmm? <laughs> you, uh... You got a little something. Some cream on your nose. Here, hold still. I'll get it. Mm. Mm, got it. You can't tell me you didn't enjoy that a little bit. Um... I know this might sound weird, but... Thank you... for falling in love with me. Hey... Man... I was gonna say that. I love you. Oh, look! Look! That's a lot more snow than there was earlier, right? It's gorgeous. I don't know if I've ever been this happy in my life. <laughs> it feels like I found my fairy tale ending. Well, it's not exactly an ending, I guess. But you know what I mean? When I'm this happy, part of me just wonders if it's real. You're right. I guess I'm just not used to actually being content. Hey, so... I can stay out as long as I want tonight. So, I thought... maybe... Oh, could I ask for a minute of your time? Hey, hey! Thanks. All right. Okay. Bye.
Let's go to bed. Oh, right. Today's Valentine's Day. No wonder there were so many guys bringing girls in here. Don't you have anything exciting happening? I mean, you've been here nearly a whole year. You know, when I was young. Oh, boy. Uh, hi there. Do you have a minute? Oh, uh, you should have just told me. Here, I'll leave the store to you. Enjoy yourselves. <sighs> Good evening. Thanks. All right, time for part two of your homecoming party. Don't worry, I got this. But wait, before we get to that, I can't believe you turned yourself in. It was like you disappeared on me. You really scared me, you know? Okay, fine. I forgive you. But from now on, we can beat this stuff together, okay? No matter what you're up against. Okay, that's it. No more heavy stuff. Now, it's the moment you've been waiting for. Chocolate time! <laughs> I bet you were looking forward to this, right? What? Were you hoping for that? Well, next year then. I'll make them from scratch with plenty of love. Between everything, I haven't been thinking too hard about it. But this is it, right? Everything's back the way it used to be? Hey, um, I've been doing a lot more modeling lately, and I even get to talk to Shiho sometimes, too. That's super encouraging. So, can I sit next to you? You're going home next month, aren't you? You don't even know. I'm gonna be so dead out here. Even if we're farther apart than we used to be, our hearts will be as close as ever. Hey, back when this all started, I was just focused on stopping bad guys from hurting people. Like they hurt Shiho. But now, well, maybe I've got other stuff on my mind. I've got someone I can save. Well, at least, I can make them happy. And not as Panther, but as me. On. Take a wild guess. to be on white day, huh? <laughs> I've actually been kind of looking forward to this. Okay, let me get ready and I'll head over. <sighs> so pretty. No wonder they were doing all those TV specials on this place. Check it out! Is that a tuna? And I think that one's a yellowtail. Or uh, maybe a sardine. Man, I must sound like I'm ordering sushi, huh? Uh, sorry. Um, I guess I'm a little nervous. I've never been on a date to an aquarium before. Hey, can I ask you something? I was kind of joking on the phone, but is all this 
Really in return for Valentine's Day? <laughs> Thanks. I'm having a great time. So, you want to get some dinner after this? I'm super hungry. Wait, what? Are you serious? Then let's go, I guess. This place is crazy. I'm so nervous right now, I can't even tell. But I know I'm happy to be here. But this is way more intense than I was expecting. You really thought this through, huh? I love a guy who can think ahead. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Give me a sec. Okay, all set. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on this special day. We wish you all an unforgettable evening, with one last finishing touch from us. What? Hold on. It's so beautiful. This is... for me? <laughs> Thank you. Wow. The perfect gift with the perfect timing. It feels like I'm in a movie. Oh, you're good. I can't believe you went to all this trouble. But when I think about it, it's such a you thing to do. From the day I met you, you've always been so focused on what you can do for everyone around you. Always putting other people first. I really admire that about you. Maybe one day, I can be like that myself. Thanks. I'm gonna put in the work. And one day, you're gonna think to yourself, Man, I'm so glad Ahn's in my life. Then you're gonna think it harder. I'll make sure, whatever happens. I wanna stay with you from now on, okay? I'm so glad you came. It still hasn't hit me that you'll be gone soon. I'm busy getting ready for my study abroad, too. Gotta research schools, places to live. You're gonna be pretty far away from each other. What? But I'll be on the other side of the world, and you've got tons to deal with already. Then again, it's not like that stopped you before. Okay then, I'll be waiting. Drop by whenever you want. By the way, um... A little girl stopped me the other day in Shibuya. She said she saw me in magazines. And that she wants to be just like me when she grows up. <laughs> it felt incredible. Oh, right. They did a special piece on me in this month's issue. I said it all in the interview, but... I'm gonna work hard. One day, I'll be modeling across the world. I've got to reach people. I want to give someone hope, like you did for me. Maybe when you see me next, I'll be a total big shot. Some kind of fancy jet setter lady. <laughs> or maybe not. I swear, I'm going to become a great woman. One you can't take your eyes off of. So just wait for me, okay? I have something. Sakura-san, I'm sorry for asking this of you. It's all good. Not like I have customers to deal with. So, this is what you grew? Yes. I'd like an honest opinion from a culinary professional. 
Let me see. To be honest, both the tastes and appearance are the opposite of what I'd call market grade. I see. But it's impressive you managed to grow anything at all up on a rooftop of all places. I'm honored to hear you say that. You know, I can't say it tasted good, but it was actually somewhat refreshing. Kind of like how you feel good after taking bitter medicine. Hmm. I first came across the plant in my house. It's possible that it's an experimental breed created for use at Okumura Foods. Thank you very much for the input, Sakura-san. I'll take note of that. He's right. That was the same thought I had. I think I understand what Sakura-san meant when he said they were refreshing. I agree! I'm so happy. I didn't expect this hobby of mine to provide value to the Phantom Thieves. This is actually the only thing I can honestly say I'm good at. Thank you for worrying about me, but I find the work relaxing. Hey, um, do you think you could help me out again sometime? Like you did today? It's a deal! <laughs> We're like real Phantom Thieves! Okay, I'll do my best from now on! It seems you were probing into a certain conglomerate. There's the possibility you even infiltrated their company building. Perhaps some sort of connection? Tell me about this person. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Empress Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Still, he was right. The taste leaves much to be desired. Thank you!
Yes. So sure. Ha <laughs> ha! 
but...
<laughs> now, shall we return home?
Um... Yes. Yes! You have my thanks. Excuse me? You have my thanks. In a gamble, huh? If she's wrong, we die. Uh, I don't want to die. Um, is it really that bad? This is every day for them. This affects you, too. Well, with your grades, I'm not too worried. But you've missed a lot of classes, so it couldn't hurt to study. Oh, yeah, he's good at studying. Uh, I feel kind of betrayed. Betrayed might be a bit much. Don't worry, Lady On. Even if you're not great at studying, I'll... Now then, let's get to it. What do you want me to teach you? I don't remember much about social studies. Me neither. I 
do remember one thing, though. Something about a sunrise and Mount Fuji. Sunrise and Mount Fuji. Oh, yeah. The earliest place where you can watch the sun rise in Japan is at the peak of Mount Fuji. The teacher said that although latitude and longitude are important, the critical factor is altitude. You remembered all that from what Ryuji said? That's unreal. How about taking a break? Uh, sounds good to me. I can't do any more. So, like, we've been doing Phantom Thief work all this time, right? We learned a bunch doing that. Even if we study and learn what we can in school, doesn't it feel kind of pointless? At the very least, it's necessary for Ryuji. You want to say that again? Those sorts of experiences are important, too. But common sense is just as important. You should know better than anyone how nasty adults without common sense can be. That's a great point. Someday you'll graduate high school and become adults. Then, when you get married, you'll need common sense more than ever. Marriage, huh? Do you want to get married? Huh? Well, that won't be for a while. In the meantime, I'm more concerned with what I'm going to be eating. for the imposition, but I really wanted some time with you. Really? Then I'll be sure to call you much sooner next year. Well then, would you like to get dinner with me somewhere? Shall we? Well, what's wrong? Of course. We are a couple, and this is Christmas Eve. Holding hands would be normal, even expected, right? If you would. <laughs> I'm getting butterflies. Shall we head over? I never imagined every restaurant would be so full. I suppose it makes sense. Typically, one makes reservations for special occasions like today. I'm sorry it turned out like this. I'm so happy to hear that. You're all I need, too. That said, a cake certainly couldn't hurt. Let's go look. This could be a long shot. Excuse me. But would you happen to have any Christmas cakes left? Actually, we do! Yes, I expected us. Wait, what? One of our orders was cancelled last minute. This is the only cake we have. Really? Well then... Could we purchase it? Of course! Just wait one moment while I go prepare your order. Unbelievable! What a stroke of luck! Is that really what it was? Well, actually, perhaps you're right. I can't wait to share it with you. Oh, it's exquisite! Oh, yes! I have a surprise for you. It's your Christmas present. I hope you like it. A fetching hat. I thought it might keep you warm through winter. Perhaps you could wear it when we go out together. Good! We have so many places to visit together, after all. I can't wait to take you on a cafe crawl. Oh! <laughs> Look, you had some cream on your nose. Merry Christmas indeed. You've made this more fun than any I've known before. Thank you for being with me. Good. Oh, look! 
It's snowing so much harder now. How beautiful. Most of my memories of Christmas are quite solitary. That or being forced to attend some stuffy gala. This has been rather illuminating. I never imagined the holidays could feel this wonderful. I'm so happy. It's like something out of a dream. Yes, you're right. It's just nice that everything's finally stable. You know, I've already sent word that I'll be home quite late tonight. So... Oh, right. Today's Valentine's Day. No wonder there were so many guys bringing girls in here. Don't you have anything exciting happening? I mean, you've been here nearly a whole year. You know, when I was young. <laughs> oh, boy. Good evening. Oh, the cafe is still... Oh, uh, you should have just told me. Here, I'll leave the store to you. Enjoy yourselves. <laughs> I'm sorry, you must be tired. I just really wanted some time alone with you. I suppose I don't need to ask for an apology then. When I realized you were gone, I was honestly terrified. I was so scared. I'd lost you forever. It's okay. At any rate... Here. Chocolate. Made from scratch. I didn't begin quite that early in the process, but it sounds like a lovely idea. Perhaps next year I'll grow some cacao. I know it's a bit late to ask, but we're back now, right? In our proper reality? Oh, I should have mentioned... I've received an unofficial offer from Akumara Foods. Ah, but I haven't given up on my dream of a humble cafe. I think I ought to work as an ordinary employee first. That should help me learn some vital lessons. Thank you! May I sit next to you? Apologies if I'm being too forward. This is just so calming. You're returning home next month, yes? More sad than mad. But I can't stop you. We've agreed to work through this. Now we'll just have to do our best. I've been thinking... When I joined the Phantom Thieves, I wanted to be someone who helps those in need. I imagined myself as my childhood heroines, champions of justice. But I found something more than that. Now I've got someone in my heart. I'll do whatever it takes to make them happy. And it's not about justice or any high ideals. It's about what I want. Who indeed? Hmm? Is something the matter? 
to Shinagawa? Uh, sure. So, it's a date then. I'd be happy to. Okay, let me go get ready. I'll meet you there. We have a large fish tank at work too. But there's a different sort of beauty to all this. I've seen a few aquarium dates in romance movies. It always seemed like such a lovely outing. At the time, a normal relationship seemed beyond my means. I'd given up on ever experiencing it myself. But I suppose this means you've made another of my dreams come true. <sighs> Was all this an attempt to return my affections from Valentine's Day? I wasn't really expecting anything in return, but I'm happy you did all this. Thank you. I suppose we've seen everything by now. Well, we do have some time left. Shall we get something to eat before we go home? What? Oh, thank you. In that case, lead the way. What a lovely restaurant! I do! I've never had the joy of dining in such a place with... someone I love. That must explain my nerves at the moment. Thank you so much for today. Somehow you seemed even more debonair than usual when we were walking to our table. Indeed. Oh, excuse me for a moment. to keep you waiting. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on this special day. We wish you all an unforgettable evening with one last finishing touch from us. Hmm? What could this be? It's beautiful. What? Oh, thank you. I, uh, I don't know what to say. I certainly didn't expect flowers. I promise I'll take good care of them. Yes, I can certainly feel that. I'm thankful to have you, too. I take it you put quite a bit of preparation into this. And then again, Perhaps I should have expected this. You always go to such lengths to make other people happy. I can only aspire to do that myself. Thank you. It's quite a feeling. To love and admire someone all at once. I hope we can spend even more time together like this. In fact, once we're done here, would you like to take a walk in the city? I... I don't want this night to end just yet. You made it! You know, I've asked for your help so many times to this point, but thanks to you, the new coffee shop venture is progressing toward opening its first location. Actually, I'll be involved with its launch, even while attending college. Yes, I confess. I'm excited to see what the future has in store. I can only imagine it'll be difficult. I'll have to balance my studies and managing the company. But it's all for the sake of making my dream come true. I swear I'll make this work. That said, of course, it does make me a bit nervous. I have to wonder if it's really within my power. But as long as I have you, I have to ensure I'm worthy of your support and your pride. By the way, I tried making something for you. I'd like to sell handcrafted goods at my cafe as well, so this is the first step in my practice. I have my grandfather's reputation to think of after all, and 
preserved my father's legacy. It has to be a comforting, welcoming space for everyone. Some place to spend your peaceful hours. When my cafe's ready to open, you'll be the first to know. I've already decided you're going to be my first customer. When my cafe's ready, I've already...